a Quaker meeting. With donations. With donations. With warmth and comfort. With warmth and comfort. For us. For us. Keep it up. Keep, Keep it, it up. up. Thank you. Hey Ron, are you are you scribe? Yes. Do you know how to email it after you're done? Um, OccupyRichmondVA.media at Gmail. Yeah, I got it. Perfect. I'm putting it right into Gmail. Awesome, thanks. That's cool because it automatically saves it too, huh? <laughs> Before we begin GA, before, before we begin, begin GA, GA, we would like to request, we would, we would like, like to, to request, request a non-white male, a non-white non male, male to come down, to come, to come down, down and join the facilitation group, and, and join, join the, the facilitation group. group. Any volunteers? Any, Any volunteers? volunteers? I will. Yay! Can we, also can we also ask that we kind of bring it down a little bit? That we, that we kind, kind of bring it down a little bit? That'll make it all easier for everyone to hear. That'll, That'll make, make it, it easier, easier for, everyone for everyone to hear. And participate. And, and participate. participate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's where the G is. Yeah. Got it. <laughs>
This means I agree. I disagree. I feel neutral. This is point of clarification. Use this if you don't quite understand and you want something clarified. This is direct response. If you have something directly to respond to, to enlighten the situation. If you have an, it's an answer to a point of clarification. Yeah. We have a mayday. Use this if you're frustrated. If so, the vibes keeper, the temp check, sir, will hopefully find you and you can tell him what your issue is so we can alleviate it. Yes, sir. Yes. Are you going to count? Of course you can. We have a block. This is very serious. This means you will move, leave the movement. Only use it in emergency situations. Be very cautious when you use that. If you do use it, we will address it as soon as possible. But be mindful of it. We also have a triangle for point of process. If we're getting off of process, use this to get us back on track. I believe that's the extent of the signals. Oh, one more. Speak louder. If someone's not speaking loud enough, do this. They'll speak louder, and we might use a mic check. Also, if someone's talking too much, do this. It'll get them to move on, hurry up, and get to the point. We don't want anyone talking too much and dominating the conversation. So please be aware of that. If you do have something to say, try to clarify it in your mind before you start talking so that you can be concise and to the point. If someone says something you, that you agree with, I encourage you to do, do this so that we all don't have to say, I agree with this, separately. <coughs> We, we at GA use a modified consensus of 90% to that end. Can someone take attendance? We okay, have got it. 57 people. So that'll be, that'll be five, six, let's say six. Six. Six people uh, in the set of a, a proposal, something that comes up, we'll table it and we'll have it. For tonight's GA, we have 57 people in attendance. So that means six people is our threshold of opposition. So just keep that in mind when we're doing proposals and all that kind of stuff. The first item on today's agenda, as with all agendas, is work group announcements. Not all work groups have to make an announcement, but if your work group has one that they want to make, come on down here. Um, with regards to the Political Action Committee, we will be having a meeting following this GA. So, if, might as well just stay here. The GA, the, the Political Action Committee meeting will be here after the GA meeting. Um, I'm confused. I heard something called OPP. Yeah, OPP and PAC are the same thing. Okay, OPP stands for? I don't really know. But <laughs> Occupation Protest Party. That is. Occupation That's Protest Party, as opposed to Political Action. Okay, I'm part of that, apparently, and I'll be meeting at the end. Thank you. Sorry. Just as clarification, we'll be discussing um, exactly when our first demonstration is going to be, and where it's going to be, and what we're going to do. So if that interests you, just hang around here after GA is over. Hi. Hello. Hello. Uh, hey. uh, my name is Zach. I am with the Richmond Occupier. 
It is a literary magazine that we're starting up for the occupation. If anyone would like to be involved, you can email us at richmondoccupier at gmail.com or meet with us five to ten minutes after the GA at the bulletin board of information, the circle, cylinder thing. Uh, so yeah, come on, come all, come everybody. Hello, my name is Mark, and um, I'm part of media, media, but um, for the last few days I've been helping out in the kitchen, and I um, would like to ask for help in the kitchen to um, to help behind the table, to help set things up. We really could use more help. We all enjoy the food and the drinks and all that comes from the kitchen area, so please help. And also, anybody who can take empty jugs home and fill them with water will be a great help. And please, please keep things clean. Let's pick up behind ourselves. This bottles cup, blah, blah, blah. Let's not forget our trash. Thank you. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Josh. Um, I, we are starting a sort of a, a grievance task force. Um, you know, we've been out here a week and like three or four days now, and um, I think it's probably about time that we start talking about exactly why we're here. So if anyone is interested in being a part of the group that sort of gets all the grievances from each individual, helps collect uh, issues, uh, we're going to have a meeting tomorrow night at 6 o'clock right before GA. I'd love to see every single one of your faces out there. Um, there are a couple ideas floating around on how we can collect all these grievances and issues in a fair and equal way. Um, so if you have any input on that or want to be a part, uh, please, please, please come out. Yes, Mark. Yes, Josh, you mean uh, grievances for in whole, not personal inside grievances? Yes, let me specify. So we're all out here, we're occupying, we're mad about something. We're <coughs> occupying because we're mad. Whatever you're mad about, that's a grievance, and that's what we want to address so that we can start forming uh, perhaps some official opinions on behalf of the entire body about what it is we're here for. You know, uh, Occupy Wall Street has its list of demands and grievances, so that's how we start forming our own. So if you're interested, 6 p.m. tomorrow night, right here in the amphitheater, I will be here, some of y'all will be here. Love to see more of you. Thank you. Hi guys, I'm Claire. Hey Claire. Um, I'm talking, I'm auxiliary. I'm talking on behalf of Comfort though. Um, it's just a reminder that if you need Comfort's help, if you need something warm, whatever, please ask someone that's in the kitchen. Please don't go in the tank yourself. It's getting really, really continuously disorganized in there. We keep folding and we keep organizing. So please ask Kitchen's help. If you someone is not in Kitchen, find an auxiliary member to help you because we're the ones basically running Comfort. Um, please, please don't go in there yourself. Um, to piggyback on someone else, he said, um, we could also use help. Please fold. Uh, take up laundry if you can. Make sure dirty things are where they're supposed to go. Make sure things are organized and clearly seen so that when help is needed, you can you can offer it. Um, uh, I'm speaking on behalf of Jonathan in the auxiliary group. He's having some concerns about. Um, tent organization. We're not really too concerned about it right now, but I just wanted to be everyone to be mindful of um, as much space as they take up, so that others can join us and we can have as many here in this park as we possibly can later on. Um, it's not too big of an issue right now, but we've grown really, really fast, which is great. But we need to keep that in in mind. So if you can move your tents to make it a little bit more organized, great. If not, we're going to have to talk about it in GA later. Um, I think that's it. Other than please, please help. Thanks, Claire. Hey, I'm Isaac. I am working with the Direct Political Action Committee, or the OPP, as it's been referred to. If you're interested in closing your bank account and moving your money to a safer place like a credit union, please come talk to me or meet with us directly after GA. Thanks. Hello, my name's Silver. Hold on a second. We have a point of clarification. I just want to point out that November 5th is the worldwide closing bank day. I know it's Saturday, so it's a little weird, but 
it is the day that's set forth for that, so keep that in mind, guys. Hello, I'm Silver. Hi, Silver. Uh, point of clarification about November 5th. I've heard it, do, transfer your bank account any time before November 5th is uh, what, what they're uh, yeah. promoting. Yeah. Uh, I'm with media. I just have a couple of personal things I'd like to tell you all. Uh, if any work group is interested in having your, your meetings video recorded, media is here to do that for you. We may, we may not always be able to attend your work group session, but if you let us know, uh, we, we can document your meeting, and th it's really important for accountability, transparency, and preser preserving this historical event. Uh, there's one other thing that I that I want to mention to you all, but uh, I forgot to let me just see if I can remember. That that's uh, that's all I can remember right now. Thank you. Thank you, Thanks, Silver. Silver. Thank you. <laughs> Are there any more work group announcements? Yeah, we got. I'm Bentley. Hi, Hi Bentley. Bentley. Hello. With the Education's work group. Tomorrow at 4 o'clock, Dr. Mark Wood, he came here on Sunday. He uh, is requesting a handful of people who are interested uh, to go to his social justice class at 4 on campus to just let his class know what we're doing here and what we're about. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, so if you're interested in that, please come see me. I can give you more information. Also, Students for Social Action is having a meeting Thursday. Okay, at 7, which obviously we're here doing things too, but if you're interested in being in the education work group and want to work with VCU students as, long, as, as well as other VCU working, as, long, as well as other VCU student organizations to help the education group spread word, ask me about the Students for Social Action meeting. And Friday, VCU faculty is planning a forum at VCU to spread more news to more students. And they are also um, wanting speakers for that forum as well. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Also, if you're interested in helping build another forum, just like we had on Sunday, come see me because we need more help, more members. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bentley. But VCU are here. Uh, who all is here Sunday? Calling all humanitarians forum. We had speakers, okay. um, and we want to continue having those. So we just need a bigger body and uh, within the working group to help reach city limits, bring other speakers, diverse representation for the occupation. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Any <laughs> questions? Yes. Uh, the Friday forum at VCU, where, when? This is just a meeting with VCU faculty because they haven't planned it yet. I believe they're planning to have their VCU forum on Tuesday next week, but I could be wrong about that date. So we're just talking to them? Uh, we're going to help them organize it. Here? <coughs> at VCU. Where? I believe it's going to be in an office on Franklin Street, but I can get more details on that later because I'm not quite sure. But if you're interested to speak to students, uh, let me know. Or Santos. Hey, sorry, one more thing, I almost forgot. Um, also, you keep hearing talk about this uh, big planning session that the OPP is throwing. Uh, one of the most specific things they're throwing that for is Saturday. We're gonna have a gigantic solidarity rally. We're inviting down uh, other occupations from all across the state, from Maryland, from North Carolina, from West Virginia, it's going to be awesome. So to sort of welcome them in and host them appropriately, it seems like it would probably be a pretty good idea to fill uh, Friday night up with some programming, you know, some workshops and seminars so that they can all stay the night, we'll wake up early Saturday morning, get to work. Uh, maybe have some more workshops and seminars Saturday afternoon into the evening. So if anyone has a skill they'd like to share, if anyone feels really, really passionately about any particular subject and wants to share that passion in a uh, sort of a semi-structured discussion, 
Uh, please come find one of our OPP people. They're all over the place and they would love to help you set that up. It's going to be really cool. You know how to like do some self-defense and throw people over your shoulder. That's more than welcome. You know how to crochet like a hippopotamus. You know, that's cool too. Whatever you have to offer, we want it. That's what this is about, teaching one another. So, thanks. Thank Hi, I'm Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Hi. Uh, I, I forgot, but I remembered. Um, we were thinking about forming a women's circle or a goddess circle, whatever we decide we'd like to name it. Um, basically, to help empower women. I know that the women that are in this encampment are, are a minority, and sometimes they might feel like their voices are being suppressed. So uh, we want to work on taking care of each other and um, fulfilling each other's needs as women, as well as we have a really great offering of someone willing to teach us self-defense. So I think that would be a great thing. Um, just get with me. We're not going to do anything formal right now, but we can cash it all out. So get to even can. Thank you, Bobby. Thanks, Bobby. Bobby. Does anyone else have an announcement? General announcements about camp. Yeah.